Hey, it's Dave Dolphin at practicalworshiplog.com. And today I thought I'd give you a tour of our Ableton Live rig that runs all of our tracks here at the church. Now, our band, we have a live drummer, we have a guitar player, and we have a keyboard player. And everything else that you hear is supplemented using pre recorded tracks. And so we are running the program over here, Ableton Live, and that is running on a Mac Mini. And then after that, uh, the audio goes to a Behringer FCA 610. Now I can hear you right now. I've said the word Behringer and you're cringing, but I needed eight audio outputs and I couldn't spend 500 to $1,000. And this unit was around 200 and it's actually been really stable for us, though I have figured out that it much prefers Firewire over USB if you're hooking it up to a Mac. And I do have another one backstage in the case that this one decides to quit on us. Now notice that we have our Ableton Live rig here at the keys position. And I know a lot of bands, the, the Ableton rig uh, lives over with the drummer. And that's a great place to put it. For us, this makes a little bit more sense because we have more consistent players here at the keys position than we do at the drum position, so it's less people to train. And there's also a lot more room here at this position to be able to set up another computer and everything that you need. Now, as far as routing goes, most of the keyboard parts, percussion, drum loops, gang vocals, all that stuff gets routed as a stereo mix to channels one and two. Uh, channel three doesn't actually work on this unit, so it's blank. I did tell you it's a Behringer, and you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, we typically have a rhythm electric guitar routed to channel four. Uh, channel five is a scratch vocal that we sometimes use during rehearsal. Uh, channel 6 is the bass guitar because we currently don't actually have a live bass guitar in the band at, at the moment. Uh, channel 7 is a basic drum track that we use only to set levels. What I'll do is I'll play the track in the room before rehearsal and I'll use the canned drums to get a general idea of how everything is going to work together, how it's going to sound and adjust the volume levels appropriately since there's so many things that are being mixed down to those first two channels. And, we can mix it later when we actually do rehearsal, but it does save time before we actually start all that. And then finally, channel eight is the click track and the vocal guides that say things like verse and chorus. Bridge. Now there's two ways to use Ableton Live. There's this session view, which is also known as vertical mode because the interface kind of goes up and down. And I do use this to set the, uh, the channels where tracks go out and also do some basic mixing. Uh, and a lot of worship teams will use Session View because you can chop up your songs into verses and choruses and put them up here and have a lot of flexibility during the actual set. Now for us, we're actually pretty set in our ways by Sunday morning on the arrangements and how the songs should flow. So the arrangement view on this side gives us the most control for transitions and such. And so we load all of our songs into one master set. We, spit, uh, we press the space bar and we are off to the races. I'm going to go ahead and put two links in the description below. One is a video of the drummer from Matt Redman, and he shows off his rig. And they use Session View, so if you want a little bit more spontaneity when you're doing your worship sets and that appeals to you, uh, that's a great resource to check out. Also, if you want your brain to explode, uh, there's an episode of the podcast Church Tech Weekly where they talked to the drummer of Lincoln Brewster when they were doing their Christmas tour a couple years ago. And they've got this top-notch setup where it's computers upon computers and they're all synced together. And if one fails, the other one kicks in and it's, it's pretty incredible. So if you want to check that out, all that stuff's in the description below. That is a tour of our Ableton Live rig here at the church. If you have any questions about any things that you've seen or how things are hooked up, uh, leave a comment below and we'll have a conversation that way. If this has been helpful, I'd love for you to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. That way you know when new videos hit here. And for more great practical information about leading worship, check out practicalworshipblog.com.